Hello, Collective, and welcome back to another Collective Read. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Oh, I just want to go ahead and say that I'm absolutely loving this weather. I'm loving that fall is uh, literally right around the corner. It's already starting to um, get in that season. I can't wait to get a pumpkin and carve pumpkin and bake pumpkin seeds and it's just my favorite time. <laughs> all right, and I am in good high vibrations. I hope that you are in good high vibrations, collective. And we're going to tap in and see here. I'm going to go ahead and call in Archangel Mike, Archangel Gabriel. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, Archangel Raphael. I just heard, put a little love in your heart. <laughs> So something could be coming to an end. And we have message of concern here on the bottom. Okay, so something here could be coming to an end for someone here. Again, take these messages as they resonate and leave what does. So uh, somebody could, somebody may be experiencing a loss. Could be, you could experience, a, a, if somebody is lose, lost a family member, I am, my condolences. Okay, so somebody you could be dealing with a courthouse here, a courthouse situation. Yep, somebody's in despair over this. Why are they in despair over this, Collective? Because you're getting some unexpected income here, and a pathway is clear. Yeah, you could be... Okay, so I expect a message. Spirit saying expect a message here. Yeah, uh, message here, something about a house. expecting a message from a wealthy man uh, here over a house here. Somebody's in control. Whoa. Yeah, okay. So we have a lover situation here. Somebody's sitting out on a new journey here and we have the family room. This came out sideways uh, so, and I'm feeling like when I, every time I get this one, I'm feeling like, because uh, I always see if there's nobody here in the family room. So there's like, it's empty. So somebody's expecting uh, you to sit out on a new journey here. And there could be a lover situation here with a wealthy man. Uh, but that's somebody's got some that's got somebody in despair. Oh whoa. Yeah, uh, could have this mature woman here that's in despair here. Some uh, could be going through and experiencing some bad health at this time. Yeah, because you're the uh, you're the main female here, and you're been was innocent. Yep, and there is um, so okay. There's a community under judgment here in the distant horizons. Yep, because you're the gift collective, and you're in high honor. Yeah. Okay. So let's get into some details here. Let me pull some of these. I want to pull some of these. I want to pull some from the. Um, Chosen Ones 144 Oracle Deck. I got this from uh, Maji the High Priestess LLC. Fabulous reader, guys. You guys should check her out. Okay, so you could be the black sheep of your family, or you could feel like that you're the black sheep of your family. 
Spirit is to saying sage your space. So you might need to cleanse your space, guys. Um, sage is good. Sage or uh, also Palisanto is good. Your dreams are coming true. Yep. Spirit is saying spend time alone in Hermit right now. You are divinely protected at this time. Yep, and somebody, okay, so they're, you're, somebody's going to regret messing with the chosen one because you're highly ranked in the spiritual world and success is here, guys. You're in this goddess goddess energy here. Some of you all uh, could be uh, Jesus descendant here, uh, could be a tarot reader. You are God's ambassador. Yep, and your third eye is awakening. Yep, your psychic power, clairvoyant powers. Yep, and your angels are protecting you at this time. What else for spirit? Whoa, okay, yep. Because your names hold power here in the spiritual realm. Your enemies know this. Uh, spirit is to say and remain calm. At this time, keep yourself in high vibrations. Is what I also just heard. Because uh, uh, spirit is going to be, they're going to be sending you some dream messages. So guys, if you're not keeping a dream journal, uh, now would be the time to keep a dream journal. And I know that some of you all can say, uh, I'll... I'm going to get memory. Yes, but at the same time, it's going to help even better your dreams to come through more if you're journaling them down. So um, somebody could be going through a dark night of the soul here. So they could be going through this purge. Yep, you are a star seed here. Spirit is saying, do not worry at this time. Yep, empath here. Very much. You could be on this twin flame mission here at this time. And it is judgment day for your enemies. Why? Because you are an earth angel healer and uh, these other individuals can do whatever they want to these other low vibrational energies. But at, at, uh, <laughs> the Most High says, do not touch my anointed ones. So, okay, spouse of spirit, so said, spirit, uh, some for the individuals who didn't know about your anointing or didn't know that you were anointed, they know now because they are experiencing the backfires. So they know that you are anointed now. If they didn't know, they know now. Okay, so I want to pull some here off of... Uh, it is getting the fall season, so I want to pull some here off of our Oracle deck. Okay, guys, so we have friendship, uh, we have mask in the reversed, harvest in the reversed, and family in the reverse. Okay, so let's see here. With this friendship here, it's in the up right here. So uh, this could have something to do with your friends or the people that you have around you at this time. Uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is me. So friendship here, this is about an upright, it's about seek counsel from those that you know well. So you all could be um, seeking advice from individuals that you know and trust. Uh, let's see here, with this mask in the reverse, uh, it says mistrust is repaid in mistrust. So make sure that when you're going to these friends guys make sure that you're not giving make sure that you're being honest and do not lie and because again mistrust is going to be paid in mistrust okay with this harvest in the reverse it says when in conflict as you sow show so shall you reap so yeah you're going to reap what you sow guys so uh Make sure that when you're in, it's very important. If you're getting these conflict energies and you're in these energies and it, you just, you don't know what to do. The best thing to do, guys, is to forgive them. Forgive them. Because it releases that energy and it releases that weight off of you. And it puts you in a good, solid vibration. And truthfully, <laughs> it does. I think that it even kind of pisses these people off because you forgive them and then it causes them to heal. They have to heal. <laughs> they have to go through all of it. Yeah, okay. With the family in reverse, it says a crowning achievement can bring its own heavy responsibilities. So, uh, Spirit just said, uh, 
heavy is the head that wears the crown. So some of you all, some of you all may not realize the things that you all have been asking for. Yes, if you want to be ever. Everybody has the uh, opportunity to be an earth angel energy. It doesn't mean that you are not um, fallible. It doesn't mean you're perfect. It means that you, when putting in circumstances, you make the right choices. You treat, you are the good guy. You treat people the way that you want to be treated. My nose is itching off the chain, so that is confirmation. Yes, uh, so I'm going to pull some here. I'm so excited because it is getting that time of the year. We're going to pull some here. I love this deck. Uh, I haven't used it a whole lot, but I am going to be using it more. Uh, it is the uh, Halloween Oracle. It's fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got Zombie and Trick or Treat. So Zombie, this is about control, guys. Uh... Spirit is to saying release control at this time. You, this is the part where you have to have faith. You've got good... Uh, okay, so Spirit said there's good things coming in for you. You just have to know that it's coming in. And you have to feel it and act as if it's already happened. Yeah, that's how you manifest and pull things in. And we got trick or treat here. So somebody could have been sending you some mis mischief and play energy here. <laughs> Chris saying trick or treat, we are here. <laughs> yep. Okay. We have Lady de los Marotos. So this is about acceptance and equality. So with the skull of light, illumination is been brought into the situation, guys. Here, this is awesome. Your ancestors are here, uh, and this is the love and legacy of of the ancestral DNA here. Your ancestors are here. Uh, they bring a trick or treat to these individuals that were uh, sending you bad energy. We've got with this cauldron here, we've got synergy and healing. So healing has been brought in. We've got Dawn, the light after the darkness at this time. And because you guys, you do have the spiritual strength and it is time for you all to remember. It's time for you all to uh, remember where you came from, uh, to incorporate this into your existence, into your being. Uh, certain DNA has been activated. That's also what I just heard for individuals here. Certain uh, DNA activations are going through. There it is, guys. I can't make it up. You want the activations? You want to come into this good energy? Forgiveness. That's the way to do it. That's it. Releases the burdens and it gets it gets rid of the weight. Forgiveness, guys. And we have the underworld here, where all things pause and begin again. Yep. We have hearth happiness in our hearts and homes, guys. Bringing joy into the situa situation. So, guys, you all have been living in the present here. And with this black cat energy, it is bringing in fortune meets opportunity. So, guys, this is about bringing in that rejoicing in the celebration, rejoicing in the present. Because, guys, you have things that are coming in here for you. Oh, my gosh. It's so beautiful. With this eternal love. Okay, so you all may be coming in to uh, bring in an eternal love here. And love is love is love. And it transcends physical death. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is wonderful. Good, good, good energy. Let me pull some here off of... Uh, I'm going to pull some here off of... The Egyptian gods and goddesses. What does my, what guidance does my collective need to know here, Spirit? And who all is with them? Who all is with them and what guidance do they need to know? Mm -hmm. We are staying present at this time. What does my collective need to know here? Thank you. Okay, we have Hawthor here. Hawthor here is bringing in intelligence, guys. And we have Satet. So you guys are fruitful. Uh, Spirit is saying, okay, so this came up in my last reading. There is, uh, some of you all are, uh, are coming into some long-term success. You all are doing the track work to bring in this long-term success with this Hawthor energy, bringing this intelligence. You guys are using uh, the information that has been given to you in the correct way. That's awesome, guys. What else does my collective need to know? What else does my collective need to know? Okay. So, uh, oh, 
we have Kunam here. It's bringing in resourcefulness, guys. So your, your spirit is making sure that you've got the tools and everything that you need. With Neith here, this is bringing in your perseverance. Uh, Tawarat is bringing in this Genesis, guys. This is a new chapter coming in. Beautiful. With Osiris here, death and rebirth. And then Sobek, union and power. Guys, this is beautiful. This is good energy, guys. So um, that oh, this is that whole uh, something... Uh, in order for something new to begin, something has to end. So this is that energy coming in. Uh, let's see here. Well, let's do this one. Do that because you do need wisdom of light here. What does my collective need to know? Okay, so we have Divine Mother Kuan Yin here is bringing in compassion, guys. So it's saying, be gentle with yourself. You are held in loving kindness and complete acceptance. That goes, oh, and we have Ascended Master, Serpius Bay, Self Mastery, guys. Take time for spiritual practices and doing the inner work. Spiritual discipline is required for this next step, guys. Whoa. Yep. We have Mother Breath of Life. Breathe. Take a moment. Breathe deeply. Relax. Relax and connect your spirit and your body, guys. We have Master Maya Inc. is bringing in inspiration. Be present to the flow of spiritual's unseen forces and unify thought and emotion to create reality. This is where you have to think the thought, feel the thought, feel it in your heart. Yes, we have World Angel of Peace here. Peace is coming in for you guys. Uh, if you guys have been praying for inner peace, spirit is bringing that inner peace. I, I'm, my nose is itching off the chain, so this is like confirmation. And we have Palladian Angel of Dreams. Dream anew. Pay attention to your night dreams and your day dreams, guys. They are your soul's guidance system, okay? Last one here, and we have uh, Ascended Master Sananda bringing in the Sacred Heart, guys. You are the vessel for the powers of divine love, devotion, compassion, and forgiveness. And with Master Maya Inc. here on the bottom of the deck, we've got receptivity. Rest in the fertile, dark womb of the primal mother. You are nurtured and supported. Uh, that's awesome, guys. You guys are nurtured and supported. Um, we'll get one here. I'm going to pull one. one card here and we'll get one prayer card for you guys. One prayer card to close out this room. Let's get one prayer card to close out this room. Okay, so we've got Earth Warrior. Earth Warrior number 43. Two, two, two. So, two, two, two. Balance and alignment has been restored. Awesome. Okay, here we go. So, we have Earth Warrior. Your loving and courageous hearts helps generate spiritual protection for our planet. You extend your care by educating yourself about Earth, Earth supportive consumer choices and lifestyle practices and cultivating love and peace within your heart. Your generous offering of prayers and healings benefit our planet and her extraordinary abundance of fascinating, unique creatures. In your unique way, you can support our beautiful world and help hold a vibration that brings awakening to those who do not yet understand the, necess the necessities for such spiritual protection. If you are connect concerned about Earth, about how Earth can survive, release such fear now and channel your emotional energies into constructive steps forward on your path. Balance peace within with courageous commitment in your heart. Trust in the wisdom and the power of the Earth and the grace and love of the angels to support your life purpose. You can help heal and support the Earth in and her creatures in your own special way. Let's 
Archangel Uriel, I am honored and open-hearted in your presence. I gratefully acknowledge the abundance, prosperity, sacred manifestation, and countless blessings that you bring for the greatest good of all. You support the embodiment of divine light. I am ready and willing to receive your healing and guidance to fulfill my inner potential for the spiritual benefit of all beings. I trust you to hold and protect the sacred space for healing according to divine will. So be it. Honoring free will, I offer this healing to my friends, families, and the collective. And may any residual energy be sent to where it can do the most good. Archangel Uriel and beloved Earth Mother, I offer you this prayer of love, healing, energy, goodwill, and compassion from the heart of the spiritual protection and healing of our planet. I cannot understand why pollution and harm and harming our world continues. I find it so difficult to accept, but I know you have the power to bring peace to all hearts and wisdom to all minds. I offer you my struggles and my love for the environment and your creatures. Use that energy to benefit our ecosystem and please help the parts of our ecosystems that need it the most now. I offer my deep in intentions, heart wisdom, and soul energies to you in dedication to our, our planet's healing. Show me how I can be a best healing channel that I can be. Help me to use my talents and abilities to be a part of the healing solutions according to your divine grace and creative genius. And may all, the, may all beings and energies know the benefit from your loving and compassionate and restorative wisdom. May the energies generated here today bring spiritual benefit to all beings and may any excess energies be sent to where it can do the most good. This work is now sealed and complete. Thank you, Archangel Uriel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Collective. I hope that this message finds you all in good peace and good energies. And I'm sending you all an abundance of love and light and compassion. And I will see you all in the next Collective Read. I love you. Peace out.